Megyn Kelly, who has dealt with harassment in the past, successfully moved past it and has achieved great things and now is being asked to go back and help other women, even though she's in of the attitude of, of wait a minute, I, I took care of my business, you know? That's interesting. So that conflict interests me a lot. Gretchen's conflict interests me a lot, which is someone who basically knows that by suing, she's essentially condemning everyone to believe that this is some form of sour grapes, this is some form of an attempt to redeem a failed career, yet still has the courage to do so, still has the drive to do so. That story interests me a lot. When, when it's, 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 you know, someone's motivations are complicated by how they will be perceived. And then Kayla's motivation, we, the story we never hear is the story of the woman who says yes, right? Uh, and I necessarily couldn't put that uh, on a real person. I had to make that character up. I knew that from the beginning. Uh, and what that means, what it means, how it feels, how, how everything that you achieve after that is tainted. The conversation that I want the film to engender is one about, you know, how we define sexual harassment, how we experience it, and how that, how that is something that doesn't necessarily have to be petty or partisan, which I think so much of this now is people pointing the finger at other people's you know, responses and, and evaluating it and judging it. By introducing a very clear arena of quid pro quo harassment that is clearly illegal and limiting the film largely to that, I hope that we are, you know, we are creating a baseline uh, of, of human experience that is something that the entire country can agree is you know, difficult. Megan Kelly is our narrative center. She is our Dante who takes us through the world. But it's Gretchen Carlson who's our moral center, who really frames the issue for us and makes the more heroic choice. And it's Kayla Pospisil who is our emotional center, who basically is someone we come to identify despite her dark choices. Uh, and who we, who we sort of did emotionally are most connected to at the end of the film. So the idea was to tell, tell a story with three leads functioning very differently across the piece. Charlize really is the lead producer and in some ways uh, the, the most profound creative force on the project, in, just in part because she's on the screen and delivering that performance. But also because she's been, you know, she's been, besides myself, she's been involved with the project the longest uh, in terms of getting it to the screen. And, you know, she's, she's here every day. She's not in this scene today, but she will be sitting back there at the monitors with us uh, delivering notes and, 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 and helping shape, uh, and shape it as, as actively as any great creative producer.